back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 45 and today's topic will be how to create editable checkbox in pdf so um, i think all of you are already familiar with the text box creation whatever we did in the last tutorial which was tutorial 44 in that tutorial we have seen how to create editable text box in pdf in this tutorial this is going to be more or less similar only two lines of code will be different the magic two lines of code I'll tell you which line and the existing students or the viewers are already uh, familiar with the code but those are watching this video for the first time for them it will be new but I will explain each and everything. So in this tutorial we'll, we'll see how to create editable checkbox inside your PDF file okay. So without wasting much time let me just open the ID so first remove let me remove this file okay. So this is tutorial 45 create editable checkbox so what I'll do I'll just create from report lab dot pdf gen import canvas okay now next thing from report lab dot leap import colors okay so next we'll do uh, we'll create the pdf file object so this is going to be canvas dot canvas and we'll name it as tutorial 45.pdf okay and then we'll write pdf dot draw center string and we'll write lead like this 10 then 50 then checkbox one okay and then we'll define x equals to uh, pdf dot acro form and then it will be like x dot checkbox and uh, button style will be mm, I'm just thinking let's check then shape is let's say square uh, we'll give some fill color yellow uh, border color is always okay i think we should give uh, not from here like colors dot yellow here also this is going to be colors dot black okay text color inside will be uh, colors dot red uh, we'll define the border with 10 border style again solid size let's say define it to 100 uh, okay sorry x equals to uh, I'm just thinking x equals to let's say 150 and y is going to be um, I think y should be y should be 30 okay tool tip is going to be checkbox 1 name also will give checkbox 1 and remaining thing is not mandatory we'll just remove okay so what i'll do we'll remove everything from here okay just removing 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 okay and last thing we'll just uh okay i'll just remove this thing for the time being but we'll see uh, pdf dot save okay so this will create one pdf file with tutorial 45 and inside that there will be one checkbox so if i just refresh this thing it is here see the checkbox and if i click see it is check why the color is yellow uh, we have select fill color is yellow okay so that is yellow 
it is black text color is red so let me just open this thing why this is red cause the text color is red so that is why okay so now um, let me uh, delete this thing first okay and we'll create some more checkboxes okay so this is going to be okay I think um, this is square mm, let's run 200 let's run this thing first and check how it is coming so this is actually square so what I'll do I will just make the check size cause our size is this so I'll just make it smaller let's say 30 30 is fine I think let's run this thing now and the border is a bit uh, thicker so I'll make it border 1 one border is fine yes now this looks okay so I'll create another checkbox now so for that probably I can just take a copy of this thing okay here and after that I'll just put here I will just rename at checkbox 2 okay so tooltip should be checkbox 2 and name should be checkbox 2 and this is going to be uh, 30 but now I am at 200 so this is more likely 180 okay and now button style will be cross okay okay cool so let's run this thing so there will be two checkbox one is with this check one is cross and it will be in a different position so let's run this thing and let's run this thing but it is why this is here I'm not sure actually probably I put this to okay 40 actually I made a mistake so it will be 150 and this will be actually 180 okay like this so see here the tooltip should be checkbox 2 why the tooltip is not coming yes checkbox 2 here the tooltip will be checkbox 1 but it is a bit this side so what I'll do I will change this to 30 this is also 30 let's run this thing yes yes now this is fine so now it will be square uh, sorry cross and this is this thing right so this is very simple you can create some more shapes if you want so what I'll do now I will just make one more attribute checked should be true so it will be automatically uh, checked when you open this thing so let's check this thing now see it is already checked okay so we have seen now how to create checkbox this is very simple and again these two lines of code is actually only the new thing this and this the remaining part is always same so hope you guys uh, enjoyed the tutorial and try to implement this sort of things for your future project or most of them are already started working with report lab probably in near future you will definitely use this feature to create some sort of interactive form for your user base your customer or some sort of feedback like google form or google survey now you understand these things are very easy if you're using any web framework from python like django or flux and if you're using any other web framework like uh, like uh, i'm not sure like some advanced java framework or node.js there also you can easily embed all these things inside your web code or web, web website okay so this is very easy and this is a very easy to implement you don't have to write any complex code you don't have to write any complex uh, logic for this only two lines of code will give you the 
complete freedom to develop your text box check box whatever you want so till now we have seen how to create text box and how to create check box in the upcoming video you'll see how to create list box and how to click uh, how to create list box as well as how to uh, create some other uh, what do you say like combo box and all okay so that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button if you are enjoying our video and try to share our videos with your family and friends those are interested to learn new things this will actually help us to build bigger or larger audience so thanks again uh, thanks for keep supporting us keep subscribing to our channel so hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice